what's going on guys today we are going to be counting uh, just for fun the number of parameters of learnable parameters in our neural network okay so I mean, you know what learnable parameters are just parameters that can be updated so uh, so as to learn so your network can learn stuff so basically you're adjusting weights and biases those are learnable parameters okay pretty straightforward now how do you calculate them well basically it's pretty easy for for just like a regular artificial neural network you just take all of the parameters in uh, each layer and then just sum them all up between all the layers so that total gives you the number of learnable parameters so let's so basically you just to do to to get the number of learnable parameters in a single layer you do the inputs to that layer times the outputs and then you just add the biases so order of operations matters here so you want to do inputs times outputs and then add the biases right and then you can imagine that's for a single layer and you can imagine that there's sort of like a sigma here that sort of like adds them all up for all of the layers and um, that way you get all of your learnable parameters for the entire network okay so let's just get into it pretty straightforward so in our network here we got a couple hidden layers uh, they're not convolutional layers okay so when we do come we'll do maybe we'll do convolutional layers in the next video for now let's just count the learnable parameters in a regular neural network so let's open up Python here okay so uh, we can see that our network here between the the first layer and the hit the hidden layer we're gonna take the number of inputs which is gonna be three so let's do three times the number of outputs which is 300 okay let's let's just do the um, the weights first so we'll do all those and then we'll add biases all right so we'll do 3 and 300 and then we'll do the next would end up being 300 times 200 inputs times outputs then 200 times 400 then 400 times 200 and then 200 times 1 okay so there you got your weights now you got to add your biases so to know the number of biases in each layer, you just basically take the number of nodes in that layer. All right, so pretty straightforward. We're just going to say that uh, here we have 300, then 200, then 400, then 200, and then one bias. Okay, so first let's actually, let's add all of our weights. So we've got uh, 900 plus 60,000 plus 80,000 plus another 80 plus 200 okay so you got this number here now let's add in our biases so our biases are going to be 221100 zero, zero, that previous number of the weights that we had plus the number of biases which is going to end up being 300 plus 200 plus 400 plus 200 plus 1 okay now this is a very tedious process obviously you wouldn't want to do this for like a large network but we're going to see a little function that I found on the PyTorch forums to help us with this so we click enter and that tells us our total number of uh, learnable parameters in this uh, little neural network so I hope you're able to see what kind of went down there uh, we take the inputs that come into a layer multiply that by how many outputs it's going to end up giving so you can see how sort of like the inputs to one layer or the outputs to one layer end up becoming the inputs to another layer and then you multiply those and then you just add the number of biases which is just the number of nodes in that layer okay so we did this by hand which probably you know you never want to do because your networks probably gonna be bigger than this and it's gonna be like a convolutional layer or something so it's gonna be a lot more difficult like there's networks with like thousands of layers so there's this uh, I found this like little function in the PyTorch forums whoa um, where Basically, you're just counting the number of parameters, and you can do that by just referencing this model.parameters uh, iterator, which, and then you just loop over all of the parameters in your network, and then, um, well, you call this function with your model, right here, where the count parameters function, and then we're just going to print them out. So, let's do, let's get out of this. We're going to run Python count par params.py and what did we get before two 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 zero one so two hundred thousand two hundred and twenty two thousand two hundred and one parameters so let's see if our little helper function gives us the same result as when we did it manually and we got a syntax error blah 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 that's because we didn't comment this out so let's do that again 
And cool. So you can see that we got this answer here, and which I think is the same as when we counted manually. Yep, looks about the same. So there you go. Pretty simple, straightforward, just in case you ever uh, want to do this by hand. Uh, okay, so I'll see you in the next one where I guess we'll be doing this for uh, a network that has convolutional layers. So already I hope you learned something or that it was helpful at least a little bit. If I made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching.